Hey everybody, Jay Super Awesome here. I'd like to welcome you all to week number 29 of the Horror Man Slashback Saturday Challenge. This week's slasher movie theme is Shopping Slasher. And I will be giving my review for I Madman. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one. Gothic nightmares collide with gritty realism in this stylish horror thriller that pulls you in and makes you pay attention. Laced with sly humor, this imaginative scary gem packs a wow of an ending. After a spine-tingling paperback captures the imagination of bookstore clerk Virginia, she seeks out the author's second book, I Madman. But once she opens the cover, its eerie tale of obsessive love comes to life, catapulting a disfigured, scalpel-welding killer from the world of fiction onto the streets of Hollywood with one demented goal, to win Virginia's love, one murder at a time. Lose yourself in a good book. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about is how I, Madman, fits for this week's Slashback Challenge theme of Shopping Slasher. I initially thought about reviewing Intruder. The Initiation come to mind also, and of course, Chopping Mall also come to mind. But I decided to go off the beating path a little bit, and I chose to review I, Madman. Because our lead character in this story, she works at a bookstore. And I just think it's a really cool setting for a slasher movie. Of course, there's people shopping in the bookstore every once in a while. And it just is a really neat setting for a slasher movie. Everywhere you look, there's old books that are just stacked up around the store. And it makes some really cool looking pathways around the store. And it's just a really neat setting. And also, the ending sequence of the movie takes place within the bookstore. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the cast of characters we have in I, Madman. I really enjoy the characters that we have in this story, especially the bookstore clerk, Virginia, who is our main character of the story. The movie opens up with her. She's sitting on her couch. She is reading a book, and I really love how this movie puts you within the book that she's reading. She's basically in the story, and we get to see what she's reading about. Now, physically, she's not actually in the story, but we're just really getting to see what the story is about. The first story that she's reading, or the first book, I should say, is more of a science fiction type book. I do not remember what it's called, but the second book she goes to read is the I, Madman book. But both of these books were by the same author, and they are labeled as nonfiction, which means they're supposed to be true. And she finds it very strange because these stories are really far out there. Of course, more and more as she reads into the I, Madman story, the Madman follows her out of the story and into the real world. And that's when the murders begin to take place. Another character that we have in the story is Virginia's police detective boyfriend. He is in charge of solving this case of all the murders that have been taking place and Virginia is really determined on helping him solve this case now some of the other side characters include the police chief and some other cops and they are all having a hard time believing her story they find it to be really outrageous but at the same time they know that there is a hint of truth to it she knows a lot of details about the murder victims and what had happened and speaking of the murder victims a lot of the other side characters or throwaway characters are friends of Virginia or at least acquaintances. So somebody that she has seen before or somebody that she knows. And that pretty much rounds out the cast of characters in this movie. Overall, I have to say that the acting was really solid in this movie. I didn't have any issue with anybody's acting. Overall, I would consider the acting to be good for this movie. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the most important part of a slasher movie, that is the killer and the kills. I really enjoy the madman character that we have in this movie. I think he's really cool looking. I really like how his look is always kind of evolving and changing, and I like his backstory. He is more or less obsessed with Virginia, so he loves her, and he does not feel accepted by Virginia, so... He's killing off people and collecting parts to try to improve himself 
to be something that she could grow to love. And I really find the storyline to be really interesting. The love story part of it really put me in mind of Candyman a lot, where you have a supernatural killer who is in love with a woman. I thought that was really interesting. I kind of got that vibe to this storyline just a little bit. I also got a Frankenstein vibe from the Madman character because each new time we see him, he is changing his appearance. So each new body part that he's collecting, it adds a different look for his character. So more or less, we have a stitched up monster that is very reminiscent of the Frankenstein monster. Overall, I really enjoy the killer in this movie and I think he has a really awesome look to him. As far as the kills go, I would have to say it's probably the weakest part of the movie for me. How the kill sequences are shot, you see the madman, and then you see the victim, and he's kind of going into a swinging motion with his weapon, which is usually a straight razor, and then a lot of times you just kind of see blood running out on the floor, or you just get to see the after effect of the kill. So we don't always get to see the violence of the kill, and that's a little bit unfortunate. The last thing that I wanted to talk about in my review is that there is a creature that shows up in this movie and it really puts me in mind of the little minion creatures that are in the subspecies movies, which also put me in mind of the little creatures that are in the gate. So we pretty much have the same kind of creature in this movie. All besides this time, it's more of a adult human size and the effects on it are pretty dated looking. But overall, this movie is a fun and entertaining slasher movie with a lot of different elements thrown in. There is a Shout Factory or Scream Factory release of it, and at some point I want to upgrade to that release and revisit this movie somewhere on down the road. So it's one that I have always enjoyed, and so I think it's worth the upgrade. I'm going to give this movie a 7 out of 10. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you have seen I Madman. Let me know what you think about my review. And I would like to thank you all for watching.